Speaking of the story of this engine, because we were here two years ago. Yes, sir. At the last Agritechnica, we had a really good catch up with Jürgen. Yep. Uh, you had the 4.5 litre structural on the stand then. So what's happened in terms of the story of the 4.5 litre? Where are we at now? How has it sort of evolved since then? So the 4.5 single turbo that we're looking at now, we're getting to the point where we're going to move into limited production, you know, so we're, right. we're progressing really well with that project. That's something that I'm, like I said, I'm really happy of and it's, it's a real benefit to see us taking that jump to the next piece. It is a trend that we are seeing. The, the use of six cylinders yep. in tractors is shifting up the power range completely you know once yep. upon a time when i was a, a lad far too many moons ago an 80 horse power tractor would have had to have been six cylinder totally yeah whereas now the a small six cylinder is 200 horse isn't it comfortably yes yeah. exactly so again there's a there's a place as always for a four cylinder or a six cylinder tractor yeah. depending on what you want it to do and the kind of work that's appro appropriate to go with that but we're now finding that we're getting that super efficiency out of the four cylinder. The reliability is also following with it now, where once upon a time pushing a four cylinder that far would have been a yeah, problem. That's always been people's hang ups, isn't it? Always, you say always. 200 horsepower, four cylinder someone, even to this day, which yep. I'm sure you guys will find. Well, my dad nearly fell off a chair I when I said did. what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> and so. it's, it's that perception, and you guys yep. will have to get the reliability side of it nailed. Exactly. And that, that's also the benefit to us because it isn't always about ag. We have all that on highway experience, mm. then all the off highway experience. So we're gaining that knowledge and reliability from all of those products yeah. all the time that we can then bake into these. There's a lot to pour into this. Completely. And that's the benefit to Cummins because it isn't always just one street for us. We, yeah. ha we have the fingers across all the pies yeah. and then we benefit from all of that. The real issue for us on there is the architecture and trying to house that on the side of the engine yeah. whilst maintaining the envelope which where the hood of the tractor would or the yeah. bonnet of the tractor would go. You have to fit this in a package. Oh yes, yeah. totally. And then we obviously we have to think about where the aft treatment is still going to fit into that as yeah. well. But uh, that was one of the main things for us of how we were going to fit those two obviously sizable components on mm. the side of this while still giving options for free on compressors, alternators and so on like that. That's it, there's lots of ancillaries to bolt there, onto there, this. There certainly there? is, yeah. And why yeah. do you guys favour wastegate over maybe variable geometry? So well, the, the benefit is, as we all know, one is cost. So mm. if there is ever an issue in the field, which we hope there isn't, you know, replacing a wastegated turbo a lot easier, but also is simplicity. Yeah. You know, we only have a little butterfly in there with a regular vacuum controlled wastegate. You can't get easier than that, yeah. really.